of six semi trucks to haul the tons of equipment. The crew has just hours to erect the stage, lay 10 miles of cable, wire 120 speaker towers, and assemble 22,000 pounds of lights. Here's a backstage look at how they keep this show on the road. When Aerosmith plays a concert, this is what the audience sees. What they don't see is the incredible preparation each show requires. A crew of 65 workers spent seven hours stringing together miles of cable to power 11 tons of lights and 200,000 watts of sound. When the lights go down, the fans are electrified by the resulting kaleidoscope of sound and color. Aerosmith's latest marathon tour put the band on the road for more than 200 shows over a period of 20 months. How did they do it? We have a, a corporation that's basically on the road. We have six tractor trailer loads of equipment. We have four buses that transport our mobile staff, if you will. We take a multi-million dollar business and move it around the world on a daily basis. And I look at that and I think, wow, I think it's a project just to move my stereo from one room to the other. And these guys put this thing up and they take it down every other day, sometimes every day. I just think of the expertise that goes into that and it blows my mind. Part of the design parameters for all of this equipment is to be ease of setup and ease of teardown. We have about seven hours on a normal day to put this show in. We allow less than four hours to remove it. When the crew arrives at a concert location, they first must unload 135 tons of equipment needed for every show. Take it inside, stage right, take top box off, put the top box out of the house, please. My role is to just make sure that the flow of equipment goes to the right place, to the right people. The trucks are in a certain order and everything in that truck is in a certain order. So it comes off at the right time. So guys aren't standing around waiting for something. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, drop this next section of trusses. Next, the crew begins the most time-consuming task of the day, assembling the show's 22,000-pound lighting system. 16 aluminum trusses are bolted together to form a massive octagon, which hangs above the stage. This is the octagon. This is the bane of my life. Nothing else can happen until this goes up. I'm not saying it's taken him long, but he started when the Dead Sea was only sick. It's not really that bad. It looks pretty simple, but there's a lot of stuff hanging off it. It takes uh, time to put it together. You know, it's not something that you can rush. When the octagon is finished, it is hoisted 30 feet into the air. How'd they do that? With 42 computer-controlled chain motors. But these motors are not only used to support lights, they also move the 11 tons of glass and metal over the heads of the performers throughout the show. There's safety concerns and there's also safety precautions. Every motor is controlled by a sensor and it runs through a computer. That computer lets you know if the motor's on or off, if it has a short. Next, the show's audio system is installed. A 64-channel mixing board is positioned 100 feet from the stage and endless runs of audio cable carry the sound to the 120 speaker cabinets which power the show's 200,000 watt PA system. Finally, it's time for the band's equipment to be set up on the stage. How do they do that? Each musician has their own technician specifically assigned to handle and maintain his instruments. This is known as the backline crew. We come out, we set our world up, and basically start checking instruments to see, at least what I do, to see what needs restringing, if the strings are old, if they're, if, you know, they've been on for a few gigs, you know, I'll change them. On an average night, Joe uses about 12 different guitars, depending on what the set list is. He plays in a lot of alternate tunings and stuff, so you can't just use one guitar. Right now, I'm putting a fresh head on to start the show off with. We like to, uh start to show off with a fresh skin usually every night. Finally, it's showtime and the band gets ready to take the stage. All right, we're gonna throw a party for 20,000 people tonight. No big thing, everything will be quiet until the curtain drops.
Once the concert is underway, the band members have to be able to hear what they sound like. How do they do that? With monitors which are carefully positioned around the stage. Incredibly, one man mixes all 22 different monitors used by the five musicians throughout the show. Say Joe over here just wants to hear his guitar and a little bit of snare drum. Brad, on the other hand, on the other side, might want to hear some kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat, his guitar, some of Joe's guitar, and vocal. They have to tell me what they want, and I have to mix it in the zones where they're going to be at. While the performers only want to hear some of the music, the crowd wants to hear it all. The 64 channels of audio are adjusted throughout the show in an effort to provide the fans with the perfect Daryl Smith sound. All spotlights standing by for blackout. Standing by, ready, and go. Jim Chapman orchestrates the 550-piece lighting symphony that accompanies the music. He also directs the 13 live spotlight operators who are carefully positioned around the arena. Stand by spot two, no color, and go. While the lighting and sound technicians sit a comfortable 100 feet from the stage, the backline crew is in the trenches, trading out guitars, making on-the-fly repairs, and expecting the unexpected. A perfect analogy for what we do is we're paramedics. We're like, you know, when, when something happens on stage in the middle of a show, we're the ones that run out there and patch it up and get it working so the show can go on. One of the backline crew's most important responsibilities is to keep the instruments in tune throughout the show. How do they do that above the noise of the concert? With strobe tuners which electronically tune the strings to the frequency of the desired note. One thing that is always in tune is the Aerosmith crew. Thanks to their careful preparations, most concerts are a rocking success. Most of us are very specialized theatrical technicians. We've been trained in the fields that, that we work in in our specialties, um, and we have a lot of experience in that area. Um, each person on this staff has his own particular specialty, and that's why they're in their job. We have a collection of probably the best and the greatest crew I think that we've ever had and probably that's on the road today. It takes a certain kind of personality to be able to spend the night on a bus, get up at 8 o'clock in the morning after a 400 mile drive, spend the whole day working getting set up and then be really sharp on stage. Actually I'm really grateful to have some of the guys that we have because without them, you know, it doesn't happen. Smith does about a hundred shows a year and has sold 75 million records. Boy, they continue to roll on. They don't do. They?